Welcome to the BOC world of welding. Today I'm going to be showing you aluminium MIG or MIG mag welding uh, on a uh, progress pulse machine uh, and uh, discussing some of the uh, little tricks that uh, make aluminium MIG welding quite easy, irrespective of what you've been told previously. The big difference between uh, aluminium and steel is that steel is quite heavy, aluminium is quite light. The other thing about aluminium is that it is very, uh, it, it melts at a much lower temperature than steel does, about a third of the temperature. Um, and also it is very electrically conductive, which means that uh, we need less amps and volts to weld with aluminium than we do with steel. The other thing about aluminium is it's much softer than steel and uh, that means that it is more critical that we have the machine set up correctly to get uh, good feedability of the wire without ending up with bird's nests or shaving of the wire. To do this, the setup of the machine starts with putting the spool into the machine and feeding the wire through a set of feed rolls. The feed rolls drive the wire up through the torch. Um, with uh, EWM and BOC Elite Progress Pulse machines, we have a special set of feed rollers that uh, come in a kit, um, which is called an aluminium conversion kit, which actually has uh, drive gears for the top rollers. And it also has special U-grooved feed rollers, both top and bottom. The machine is normally supplied as standard from the factory with a flat top roller which is designed for steel and a V-groove roller at the bottom. But because aluminium wire is soft, we need to use U-groove rollers top and bottom to make sure that we don't damage the wire or shave the wire while we're feeding it. Because remember, it is very soft. The next part of uh, feeding aluminium successfully is the liner in the torch. We have special liners for aluminium which are non-metallic. Uh, we have a red Teflon liner and we also have a black graphite liner. Both of these are suitable for uh, welding aluminium um, and uh, the reason for that is that they are low friction which means we have trouble free welding. The other thing with aluminium uh, is that when we um, uh, push the, the liner into the torch, we have a special bronze jump liner which goes on the front of the, uh, the red or black plastic liner, uh, which makes sure that we get good conductivity of the aluminium wire, but more importantly, that the uh, red and black liners do not get melted away by the heat of welding. When we go and fit the torch into the front of the machine, as you can see with this torch that I set up earlier, we have the red liner, which uh, is protruding probably 100 mil from out the back of the torch. This is the uh, Euro connector that goes into the front of the wire feeder. And uh, it is designed to go right up to where the feed rolls are so that the wire has no chance of birds nesting between the feed rollers and the start of the liner. Because the plastic liner is quite soft, we then have a brass tube which goes over the liner and that goes up into the uh, Euro connector on the front of the torch. So this one uh, is as it comes from the factory. I've got one pre-cut in the machine. So what I do is feed that into the into the front of the machine and then make sure that the uh, connectors line up, screw up the uh, collar so that it is nice and secure and uh, then, then we are ready to weld once we feed the wire out through down through the liner. I'll secure the, uh, the feed rollers 
and we are then ready for action. You can see uh, on this particular machine, we, today we're using a, uh, an EWM Phoenix 355 Progress Pulse machine. This particular machine has uh, standard MIG, pulse MIG, double pulse or super pulse as EWM calls it, as well as uh, force arc and root arc already programmed into this machine. Um, this is a, uh, a new model multi-matrix machine which also has energy saving features so you can see that the machine has gone to sleep until we pull the trigger. The first uh, step in setting up the welding parameters now that we've got the torch um, set up correctly and the feed roll set up correctly is to inch the wire through, through the torch. We do that by basically pressing the inch button. With, these, with all the EWM and BOC Elite machines, the, uh, the wire inch speed is limited to six meters a minute so that uh, we don't damage the wire whilst we're feeding it through the torch. Once the wire appears at the front of the torch, we can stop the inch and then set up uh, the correct job and welding parameters on the front of the machine. The wire's now arrived, so it's time to set up the, uh, the welding parameters. Um, on the inside of the wire feed cover, there is the usual EWM and BOC Elite Machine job list. The uh, job list gives you all the preset uh, conditions that are in the machine's memory for welding different types of material uh, with different shielding gases and using the different processes such as standard MIG, pulse MIG, force arc and root arc. So for this particular application today we're using uh, 1.2 millimeter 5356 wire and uh, that happens to be, when I look it up on the job list, job number 76. So to set that we press the job list button, it's currently on job 9, so we dial up job 76. We then wait a couple of seconds for the parameters to load up and you can see that's set up from the memory. We can uh, set the machine either by uh, amps, which is basically uh, directly proportional to wire feed speed, or we can set it by material thickness. So for, uh, for example, if we're welding three millimeter aluminium, we set it to three which makes it very easy for uh, a person that's not familiar with this machine to be able to set it up very quickly. Um, and we can also set it up by wire feed speed. In this particular case, for three millimetre aluminium, it is set at 5.9 metres a minute of wire feed speed. And the corresponding voltage is uh, set on, or finally adjusted using the small knob. Um, when it's on zero, it's actually set, in this particular case, at 17.5 volts. But if you find that that voltage is too low, you can actually adjust it up by up to 9.9 .9 volts, which obviously will take it up to about 28 volts, as you can see, 27.4. Or if it's too hot, we can actually reduce the voltage down as much as minus 9.9 .9 volts but uh, normally you don't go anywhere near that low. So typically the factory setting is on zero, which for this particular wire speed is 17.5 volts. Um, you'll also see in this bottom right hand corner here is uh, uh, two settings, either pulse or non-pulse standard MIG. At the moment, uh, and this is the factory setting on this particular machine, it is set for pulse. So when the little green light uh, is illuminated at the bottom next to the pulse symbol, the machine will be on pulse. We can then set up the uh, special features of the machine, which uh, allow you to adjust all of the parameters across the top here. Um, the way to do this is we can, on the left hand bottom, we can either set the machine to a normal 2T trigger situation where if you pull the trigger once, and hold it, the welding continues until you let the trigger go. If we put it onto 2T 
when you pull the trigger, you can actually let it go and the machine will keep welding. Um, if you then want to stop, you pull the trigger and let it go and the machine will stop. We also have the, uh, another feature which is called 4T Special and 4T Special allows you, as I said, to adjust all of the parameters across the top here. And uh, we can do that by basically by pressing this uh, multi-process button. This particular button allows us to set uh, a, uh, a hot start which is useful for aluminium or for other metals we may not need a hot start. The hot start current can be adjusted from uh, 100 up to 200% of the actual current that was set initially on the machine. And that's just to get the heat in at the beginning. I normally recommend on aluminium that we use 150% uh, hot start. Um, if we then press the button, we can set the uh, timing of the hot start. In this particular case, the factory setting is uh, half, half a second. We then uh, slope down to the main welding current, which is on for 0.3 of a second. Um, we can then, we are then running at the set condition, which is uh, 5.9 metres a minute that you would have seen previously. And we can then set uh, a down slope to a crater finish, and the crater finish is at 50% on for half a second and uh, that gives us a nice crater at the end of the weld which uh, is free from cracks and other crater defects. And we also have uh, post gas flow of one second to cover the weld pool whilst it's cooling down. So that feature is available on uh, 4T Special and uh, that I find is particularly useful on aluminium welding. So now that we've gone through all of this, we're ready to go and do some welding. Gary's going to weld some 6mm aluminium with 1.2mm 5356 wire and Alushield light shielding gas, which is the argon and helium mix that's recommended for welding this material. He's running on a pulse at around about 200 amps. If you look at the result, you can see that he's got a nice scalloped finish. He's got good edge cleaning and a nice even finish. Working with gas is as easy as BOC. Come and see us in store or check us out online.